Hiya guys and welcome back to another video with me, Kerbex UK. And today we're at a place called Jubilee Colliery, an old coal mine um, in New Hay, near New Hay anyway. Um, and we're going to go and have a little wander around it and see what, it, see what it's all about. So the red pin is showing you where Jubilee Colliery is, it's in between Shaw and New Hay. It was opened in 1845 and it was producing coal, coke coal, and I'll tell you more about that later. Um, but I'm going to give you a little wander around, obviously through the eye of a lens. But these were just some of the little views that we got when we got there and we walked to the top of the colliery. So we started off at the top of Jubilee Colliery um, and we've walked down now, down this path. Um, we're going to go and see if we can find something what's called the coal covens. Another thing that I forgot to say already is that it was opened in I think 1845 it opened officially. And they, they with the production of coal. But I'll tell you a bit more about that as we go and progress on through the video. Now, this little fenced off area here, we uh, we reckon is an, an old shaft. So, only because that little triangle, it's like a bit of concrete, I think that is what marks the, the old sort of shaft area. Um, I'm not too sure, but I'm guessing that's what that is. So guys, we've now arrived at the what's called the coal coal covens, which is where they used to heat up the coal to treat it, to get rid of impurities and stuff like that. I'm not too sure why they did it. I'll try and research that and find out why they did it. But um, I'm going to take you now and just show you them as we go down. And in 2014, some archaeologists came here and I think they dug these out or they found them or they, they managed to... They did something, but I'll take you now for a little, little view of these... Uh, these old coal coke ovens, and again, I'll, I'll tell you what that means later on. Coke is a grey, hard and porous fuel with a high carbon content and few impurities made by heating coal or oil in the absence of air, a destructive distillation process. It is an important industrial product used mainly in iron ore smelting, but also as a fuel in stoves, forges, when air pollution is a concern. So, as you can see here, you can still see the charcoal black colour from years of heating coal up and purifying it. So, before you might have heard me mention them putting the coal that they were mining here into an oven called a coke oven. And the reason why they did that was because air pollution back then was such a big concern. So they did that to burn the impurities out of the coal. So when it burned in your house, or in your stove, or in your cooker, or whatever you were using your coal in, it didn't affect uh, the human anatomy or health or you know the, the, basically your safety and well-being and all that but that's the reason why the uh, they heated it up and treated it basically to burn out the impurities and to make it safer to burn in your house Jubilee Colliery was founded in 1845 to gain access to the mountain mine coal seam 325 feet below the surface, or 99 metres. Originally owned by the Edge Lane and Drycloth Colliery Company, it was bought in 1883 by Platt Brothers and Co. Limited. Since the coal was ideal for producing coke for use in the company's ironworks in Oldham, where 500 tonnes per week were used. All right, so on top of the coke ovens, there is a tunnel. I don't know if you can see, there's a tunnel down there with Martin at the end of it, and I think, it's from that little hole we seen earlier where I thought they put the coal through. I think that would have let the smoke out into like a, a tunnel on top of them. And it would have gone to a chimney maybe at one of the ends and then it would have gone up in up the chimney and then out into the sky. But uh, I don't know where I'm going to go through this tunnel or not. Don't want to get my coat dirty. <laughs> so, I think this might have been, at one point, from the coke ovens, there was like a hole above the um, the back end of it, and I think that's where the fumes would have come inside to this little tunnel or chamber or, or chimney, and it would have gone either one way or the other towards a chimney stack, and that's where it would have been released because it's very, very, very blackened along the tops and the sides of this tunnel, and I definitely don't think people crawl through it. <laughs> oh. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Wow. So a minute ago, you might have heard me rambling inside that tunnel. And I said something like it was maybe a chimney or whatever. Well, it makes sense because there, where he stood, is the site of the boiler house. I'll, uh, I'll probably put a little clip in of the, uh, there's a sign what tells you it's the boiler house, which we missed. <laughs> so as I walk over to the chimney, on the base of the chimney, you can see the remains of old buildings just dotted around the surrounding area. And before, you may have seen me crawling through a little tunnel, which is over there, which I'll zoom into now. That would have been connected to this chimney, which was part of the boiler house. So you can try and understand how big this chimney base was. For a bit of scale, Martin stood in the middle, and you can see the actual ring of the chimney going round. It was big. Now, this particular place is quite a... Um, it's like, the if you look at it from a map, it's like a key shape sort of type. The way it shapes, as in like, you know, on the land, it's sort of like a key shape. But all around, wherever you look, there's remnants of buildings and and uh, old structures and whatnot. But it's a, it's a great place to come because just think of how many people would have worked here, slaving away, just to make money to feed the families and stuff. And nowadays it's, it's become picturesque and quite a nice little nature reserve, which the, it deserves that, if anything. So a moment ago we were stood down there, we've caught some little stairs there, and I want to show you another I think it's a shaft, a marked shaft. I'll just show you. They're all fenced off, obviously. Probably because they don't want that little thing there signifies that this is like a shaft and basically don't go in there and walk around. But it's, it probably is alright to walk on, but I wouldn't. Don't tempt fate. But it is, when I say, a, before I said key shape, I mean like, so on a map it's like that. And then it goes back down there. I'll probably put a picture in so you can understand what I mean. But Martin's just over there. That's them buildings. I just wish I had all the pieces to the jigsaw so that I could piece it together and see what it looked like when it opened in 1845. Some more history about Jubilee. It was linked to Park Colliery around 1866 by 1891 it was down to 324 yards and in 1897 the upcast shaft was started in 1922 it was connected to Butterworth Hall pit by the Jubilee tunnel but this pit closed in 1928 so the tunnel was walled up and the flooded pit was sold to Oldham Council as a water supply Jubilee was worked by the famous Platt brothers for most of its life who also owned Moston Colliery it finally ceased production around 1932. Apparently it was one of the wettest collieries around at the time. It had a huge battery of coke ovens. The only building still intact today is the substations on the entrance as you enter. A very interesting feature is the flue from the coke oven, suggesting the heat generated was reused to heat the mines and boilers. Now, this is probably one of the most detailed pictures I've found of Jubilee Colliery. And if you look where this black X is, that's called the Jubilee Inn, and I have a picture of it. Now, the reason why this was located so close to the colliery is because oh, the 170 plus workers who work there fancied a beer after work. And where else better than the Jubilee Inn? So the colliery is just over there. You've got the Rochdale tram line just there, and then we're, uh, we're now walking along a little wood, uh, not wood, I was going to say a wooden path there, I don't know what I'm about. We're now walking along like a dirt track, which we're going to go and have a look at this mill at. Uh, I'm not too sure what the mill was actually used for, but we're going to go and see if we, if we can get in and have a little walk around. Be great. But I'll check back in with you in a few seconds. So, we walked as far as we could walk along that um, dirt track. We've come to a chimney, which has been banded apparently to hold it together and then there is an old mill behind us as well which I'll show you in a second looks good that chimney in the background doesn't it? do you not think? <laughs> but anyway so I'll show you the front part of this mill which is as you can see it's all there now behind me is someone's house <laughs> um, surprised they've not come out yet saying oh, oh. a kerosene tank um, some sort of abandoned bathroom type looking place. Should we go inside and have a look to see what it's about? 
So the door was wedged, like not shut, but it was wedged that I couldn't open it. So I had to like put my camera in these little windows, and the this room was just filled with, well, it looked like someone had fly tips in there. Um, I'm not even sure what this building is. It was just there, like in front of the mill and at the side of the colliery. So I'm not I'm not too sure what it is. If anybody knows, let me know. So let's go and have a closer look up here. Not too sure what it was used for. Um, but you can definitely tell it's old. <laughs> um, uh, this is probably the best bit here now. Oh my god. All the, is that ivy? Has it fell off the wall? The ivy's fell off the wall. See that? All that stuff up there has just fell off and died. And then, if we keep going, we've got these two garage doors, and then by the looks of it, loading bay things at the top. <coughs> and then over there, you've got like some sort of metal cage. Looks a bit sinister to me, that. All right, that's been Jubilee Colliery. I keep pronouncing it Quarry, but we all know it wasn't a quarry. Uh, we had a look around the back at that mill. Uh, you can't really get in, it's all boarded up and stuff, but um, plus we didn't know too much about it. But I think this is probably going to be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe to see more videos from me. Thank you.